So yeah, there's been some updates to it over the years. It's got the old KAT motor set up in there, the same setup that I did forever ago, and like I built this little <laughs> mid mount. Oh yeah, dude. I remember E Towner. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, trackside fixes. Uh, I built this like mid mount uh, setup on there, the tube front end, back at MA in like 2014 when we redid this thing. And you know, got like the fresh uh, coolers on there, just kind of tightened this up because like all this metal was all crunched up. Since then, uh, we did change the turbo size. We're gonna change it back because it's a little too small. And that's why my little hood vents don't line up so well anymore. Then the other updates that happened while it was on the East Coast was we got the whole Park Shop Max angle kit on there. We got the Park Shop Max uh, pieces in the rear, uh, new BC Racing coilovers, and of course the new Motegi wheels with GT radios on there. A lot of nice new parts. Oh, even, that's right, we got the wiring specialties harness on there. We got the radium fuel rail, the top, um, top feeds with the Dietschworks injectors. So a lot of little things, you know, to bring it up to speed and a little more modern and current. And the next thing we're gonna do, we actually made this thing run on an SR20 Apex Power of C. So it's got an SR crank angle sensor on there and it's got a whole SR20 harness on it. Uh, and that's how it's been running this entire time. Uh, we're gonna convert it to a Link ECU now and get not a standalone, but we're gonna do the, the plug and play. So we're gonna utilize the wiring specialties harness and get the plug and play ECU from Link and get this thing uh, to have a little more, once again, uh, track side support like the infinity you know like it runs okay but when we have an issue i can't really get support for it oh my god before i go any further look how much rubber is built up in this thing oh my god <laughs> look at it <laughs> look at that oh my god <laughs> that side too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the next thing we're doing is throwing in our Tikata. Tikata, I know. Harness is here, so I reset the length on the lap one, not the lap one, the crotch one, because it goes in under the seat, so I know that it's probably best that we put that in now. Set the length on that one, zipped it up, snapped it up, that's going in. Jackson is now bolting in the side brackets. New harnesses, new seat, new seat brackets, new bolts, new hardware. Get the seat bolted in, see how she looks. Warm this hot rod up and see how she runs. Okay, got Yaxone throwing some VP in there. Fresh fuel. Yeah, dude. Check the oil, it's got oil, check the coolant, took a little bit, normal. Oh. Uh, Oh, found, found the top. What's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wee. Come on, girl. She's got a bad cold start. There we go. It's got some good, good pull. Yeah, all right. The brakes need bleeding. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw you pull a hammer and nothing happens. Like nothing happens back there. Oh my <laughs> But she but she squirts pretty good. Dude, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. good. Yeah, cool. yeah, I know, look brass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not too bad for an old car. Definitely needs plugs. Definitely needs a, a, go, a go through on the tune. You can hear it's a little fat. Probably mostly with the plugs. I'm sure the plugs will help out a lot. Gotta bleed those brakes. Got a few other little things to do, but. Yeah. That's like a solid little ripper. I told you. Awesome <laughs> yeah, I bet the plugs are gonna do a lot. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure they're. You kind of hear it like. It's it's a little smoky. Yeah. It needs like a little cleanup. The plugs will probably do a lot of that, but either way, we want to get the tune looked at. But um, yeah, I mean, the steering feels good. Yeah. Got to bleed the brakes. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Maybe get some pads on the rear. See, he's on. Okay, let's put it away. Put it up. Unless you're gonna do another. <laughs> you tell me. I'd say that will do it. A few little things we figured out. Like we said, needs some brakes, needs a handbrake, needs some bleeds, probably needs some pads. What I think we're gonna do is we should probably throw in those Z32 pieces that I have. That's gonna be the move. Yeah. All right, send her home. Good car. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea. We have those Z32 calipers. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna put those on. That's a good car. Jackson, what you do? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Sean, We're at a really good, really, you showed it at a really good time. The I socket know, is smoking. Is smoking. <laughs> Man. Um, oh, yeah. I think it did like a world's first outside of a Ford 4.6 liter Triton than a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, so to catch you up, we wanted to put new plugs in the engine, right? Yeah, we wanted to Pretty be nice Pretty easy to process. It, right? You know, let's get some fresh oil. Let's get some fresh plugs in it. Uh, Jackson tells me that they're not coming out, right? They're pretty seized up. I think we already tossed the one, but we got one out, not looking good. Uh, kind of chewed up the threads a little bit. And so he fired it up and, you know, ran the motor, get some heat in the head, try and get the aluminum to expand so we can pull those plugs out, try and make it a little easier. We got PB blaster in there. Long story short, it was still very, very seized on there. And so we got the impact because we felt that using like a big torque wrench would just shear something or twist something, you know, like the impacts would probably help it come off. Shock it. Yeah, trying to shock it out. So in the electric impacts weren't really budging it. So we got the big gun out and with one hit, it did that. I've never, ever seen that I've never happen seen that before. Either. It's supposed to look like. Yeah. The fact that it just unscrewed from the threads took, right off it. It took the whole thing. Clean. You can look down in the hole yeah. and see the electrode in there. Yeah, it sheared it right there. So I think they were tight, buddy. <laughs> So, I'm not sure who put these plugs in, honestly. Disclaimer, we did not, this was not the first tool. No, that's what I said. I was like, we tried other things. <laughs> tried to handle, yeah, tried to three eighths impact, a half like the impact, and then the, uh, yeah, we're. <laughs> we did ease it up. Oh my God. Well, we know what we gotta do now. Yeah, thank God well, Aaron's got here. <laughs> you got here just in time, buddy. Yep, we got our answer. Well, we were gonna, um, you know, do a fluid change, so we can start with that. Yeah, we're just gonna do a quick fluid change, you know. <laughs> Might as well start draining. Now that we let the car cool down. Well, I mean, it looks good. Nice little I, oil flush. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know. It's not really tan, so, I don't know. black. Look great. It looks pretty good for a diesel truck. Yeah, it drove <laughs> like a diesel. <laughs> so, Sounded like a diesel. Plans for this week have changed slightly, but kind of for the better. This car's gonna get a little bit more of a refresh than we wanted to. So instead yeah. of just uh, fluids and oil, uh, or you know, fluids and plugs, it's gonna get a new head gasket and some other manifold gaskets. So I'm um, putting some feelers out, trying to see where I can find some gaskets. Uh, I gotta find another head. Just blow this head off, get it off. I want to see if this thing does have studs in it or not. I was told it did. If not, we'll put some um, ARP head studs on it, fresh gasket. And I think at the same time, we're going to have our boy Pierre over Blood Motorsport yeah. convert like this manifold stuff. that I got from Doc yeah. Race forever ago from a T3 to a V-band. It's going to give us way more options for turbos. I think because uh, this turbo is a little too small and I really want to put a G25 550 on it. And if we convert it to a V-band, I have, you know, two different options as far as the exhaust housing versus uh, 
you know, trying to stick with this platform, which is a little too small. I think we're gonna do all that. That kind of like made our decision for us since it's gotta come off. It's a little bit more taken apart. <laughs> a lot of it more. <laughs> Aaron's busting off the head studs right now. Yes, sir. We're mere seconds away from having this head off. We got all of our cams and everything laid out here real nice. So we've located a head. Chris is talking with the guy, located a head, and like we just need the miscellaneous gaskets and stuff. But we'll be able to go back together tomorrow afternoon. We got some other stuff to pick away on, but honestly, that hasn't been this bad of a job. Honestly, that hasn't been this bad of a job. Yeah. Hey, don't reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing actually looks uh, incredibly good inside. Like, you know, the walls look fantastic. Really, the light um, looks pretty good. You know? So this, uh, so yeah, like I was saying, this motor, this is actually the engine that was in Matt Power's green S14 2009 Formula Drift. And so I've been sitting on it for a long, long time. And yeah, it's, uh, looks like it, yeah, those spark plugs seized into the head. So it's super unfortunate, but, um, still in there. Yeah. But everything looks great. Definitely took care of the motor, I would say. So we're just, uh, yeah. Look at those things. Look at this. Look at that thing. I've never seen that happen in my Isn't life. That's the most insane thing. Yeah. But these are all, yeah, they're factory valves and everything. Okay, so I don't So I'm going to head down to San Diego. Funny, the stomping grounds of where this engine came from to begin with. So the SD boys with the KAs. So uh, their buddy has a KA head. So I'm going to go down there tomorrow morning and pick that up. Uh, just another factory head, S14 dual cam. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like that they did any sort of springs or anything in this. It was just a factory head, just pistons, studs, which is great. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. What do you think, Jackson? Dude, I think it's gonna be a ripper. Yeah. Again, <laughs> again. Another, yeah, again, yeah. back to, yeah, this is a little more torn down than we're expecting, but, yeah. you know. It's, honestly, it needed to happen either way. It, it did. Just, I'll, slightly untimely, but honestly, all things considered, on a Monday, car has to be ready on a Friday, like, this is pretty good. It's actually not too bad, yeah, like I was saying. If we had all the parts right here, this would be like a one-day job, yeah. so. Just gotta go pick up a couple things. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna get a full go through. All right, Jackson, you ready? Chris, are you all ready? Uh, you know what our next upgrade is? Start this thing up. Oh, <laughs> not, not quite yet. So yeah, the other thing that we found out in our little test session was that we don't have brakes. The brakes are pretty bad. The pedal was soft, so it needs a bleed. And the handbrake was pretty uh, yeah. non-existent. Cue the part with me yeah. pulling on the handbrake with both. Yeah, yeah, cue that in. So I actually had these uh for another project Sick. so it's perfect we got these for another build actually the, the the white car the white car you're working on oh really yeah There's that's what i on. originally got these for but it's perfect because <clears throat> i needed them for this car the z32 calipers front and rear dual rears everything oh, so you got dual rears the yeah, whole that's what i'm saying we're freaking hey. dialed we're fully dialed well guess what jackson we're going hunting again hunting. this is why i have a lot of dumb crap in this <laughs> shop so we got one rotor, two rotors. Yeah, 300 ZX, 30 millimeter. Front and rear. Sounds right. Um, yeah, it's a quick little view <laughs> viewing flap. Front, right, slotted. Okay. Front, left, slotted. So okay, so I think we need some rears. Cool. Well, that Sounds answers like that it. question. Yeah. That was really hard. Perfect. You know what I? You know what I found? What? Check this out. You know where you're gonna put this? Where that handbrake was. So this is not only gonna become our union adapter, ah, but it's also gonna give we're gonna prop get valve. Prop valve too. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Dude, we're just coming up Millhouse around here. <laughs> this is good stuff. Wait, I don't even know what these are. Oh, these are Frontier, Frontier? and they have the they have the 30 degree bend. Yeah. These are perfect. All right, we're back in. So our long travel Z1 uh, front. Brake lines are gonna be perfect for big angle S13 drift stuff. So <laughs> same same thing. Last thing we need. Fresh handbrake. Go with the gold. Gold. Yeah, match the wheels. Gold's good. Match all the stuff. So you need one of those. I'm oh, gonna have to leave the steering wheel down. Need one right of those. Now. Yeah, one of these. This is gonna get out of hand quickly. One of those. Yep. Now it's gonna get into your hands. Oh, it's gonna get out of my hands. And too. then this one. Uh -huh. And then hardware. We'll dig. We'll dig this hardware out in a second. But yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I think we showed them this. Well, I know we showed them this. The heads off. Yes. The cams are out. There's a lot of stuff off the motor. Now the oil pan's off because 
We well, had we to had... reseal the oil pan yeah, because it was starting to leak and we figured why don't we take off all the rest of the stuff and yeah, reseal it. That's why we pulled it off because there was a leak. Sure. Now, uh, we, Chris showed you guys all of the sweet PBM parts we got for the rear, for the dual handbrake. So I literally just got back from the parts store right now, grabbed some 300ZX rotors, uh, and we're gonna get all the dual caliper stuff bolted up. It's pretty sweet what Part Shop has going on because this is their knuckle, and it's literally got provisions for the dual caliper right on it. So literally a bolt-on affair. Run some lines and boom, it's dual caliper. So show them the goods. Oh yeah, yeah dude. look at look at these beauties. Yeah, so these are, are our fronts. Bricks? Yeah, they're they sure 32s. Are. So these wow. are pretty sweet four-piston fronts, and then the rear. Hold them up, Aaron. Hold them up like like gold chains. Yeah, let like, them know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get new OEM head bolts from Nissan, which we kind of got a pointer from a couple of experienced KA dudes to run those over the head studs. So that's the route we're going and those will be here tomorrow morning. So we'll actually torque the head down tomorrow, but we'll wrap up all the other stuff in the meantime. Have you guys told them what they're doing, what, what you're doing with the car? Yeah, I think Chris mentioned it. <laughs> uh, we're taking this car to Hot Pit this weekend. Uh, Hot Pit Auto Fest, we're gonna drive Friday and Saturday, or I'm gonna drive Friday and Saturday, actually. Chris is nice enough to let me borrow this car. <laughs> <laughs> gonna drive in the, it's like a top 32 competition they do out there, so pretty stoked. Really excited to use this car, because it's been sitting around for quite a while. I think it only gets used when Chris is in New Jersey, so cool to have it in Cali and use it in a comp again. Yeah, make sure to go to shopforsbergracing.com yeah, and get dude. your Forsberg drip, dude. Yeah, wow, drip. 20 years of Forsberg. <laughs> and it might even come with Jackson's mustache. It will. Stay tuned. <laughs> we got our four piston up front. Big upgrade from the factory ones. Now I just gotta run the lines, pretty much the braided lines, and the fronts will be done. Jackson's working on the rear, putting the handbrake. It's gonna be a separate caliper now, so it's gonna be, man, this car's gonna party hard. You look so excited right now. Hey, but that mustache is kicking though. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the stash really is nice. Shave the rest of that crap I'm, off. Dude, I'm waiting. I'm gonna do it Thursday night, so I go to Hot Pit with a brand new freshie. Why Frickin' you, brand new Why freshie. do you make me edit harder? Sorry. All right, bye, bye. God, like we know what we're doing. Dude, you guys should totally like be As like- Beavis and Butthead? No, but you guys <laughs> should be people that like work on cars and stuff. You know, I've heard that, but I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's for me. I don't think I'm cut out for it. <laughs> right. It's kind of nice. These cars with the super doof, you can work on the car, but you can put your head inside the bumper so no one knows you're in here. That See? was an extreme close up. <laughs> it looks so funny though from here. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even know I'm in here. You know, I mean, you never know. I can't see you, you can't see me kind of thing. I mean, you look headless right now. I'm uh, picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, smelling what I'm stepping in. Anyways. This here is a 300ZX twin turbo rotor. Uh, and this here is a Z32. Why did you just say the same thing twice? Well, wait, what did I? Z32 and it's your twin okay, turbo. Okay, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, sorry, okay? Big Nissan guy. This is a Z32 rotor and a Z32 caliper. Uh, not a Z32, pretty cool. Earlier in this video, you saw Chris vacuuming out this spot where all this rubber was at, right? I mean, there's like bolts, everything. What? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a walkie-talkie inside the rocker panel of this car. Chris, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> what? I just saw the antenna and I'm like, Ray, you gotta, you gotta get this. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, we just got a new radio for FD. Sweet. Well, you just got a radio for this car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the old gasket stuff off so we can put a fresh new head gasket on here. I feel like I'm in a learning channel when Aaron talks. <laughs> You are an <laughs> Hello, Hello, my name is Aaron. Grind on me. <laughs> Get it, girl. Whoa. <laughs> but we got this gasket surface is all nice and clean and ready. So I'm trying to make this one the same. And that concludes our lesson for today, boys and girls. <laughs> right. Those are 350 lines that fit on there. Yeah. These ones? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, and it bolts on and everything? Yeah, it bolts yeah. right f***ing on. There is an extra clamp, but it's like just zip tied there. Did you tell them we are at the Chili's? <laughs> yeah, we ordered baked beans too. They didn't have baked beans. You guys got baked beans? <laughs> they didn't have baked beans. <laughs> what do you mean? They're all out. All Quiet car ride right home. I thought you were talking about tires. Oh, go tell me we ordered Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what I thought you were saying. Dude, he showed me. That walkie, I guarantee, is from when we shot Turked. The last time there would have been a radio in this car. 
<laughs> it's from like 2012. Sure. This, I mean, these were my radios from that time before I switched over. Oh my goodness. I'll show you where the rest are. <laughs> there are my other Probably panels. nine of them. And here's, here's numero 10. 10. Hey. Hi. We figured that while we're in here doing all the stuff, we should put a new fuel filter on it. So we're going to change up the line routing a little bit. We got this really cool radium unit that's like a mount and a heat sink all together. So we already got some holes drilled down there. We're going to mount it all right down here, something like this. And, uh, Run our old factory hard line into that, and then we'll make a dash six from here up to our radium fuel rail. And put some fresh parts on this fuel system, make it a little more reliable and look a little cleaner too. Mr. Forsberg is um, miles deep in the dash right now. Well, there is no dash anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, like he's been sounding like he's having a ton of fun. Yeah, this is my absolute favorite. I don't know if you know this, but I'm big wiring guy. Hey, wiring guy. Big wiring guy over here. All right. you know what I'm really good at finding wires that aren't hooked up to things and removing them. <laughs> I can do that really well. I got yeah, I got this nice old pile going down here. That's all the stuff that was just in there. <laughs> just dangling, just hanging out. Oh, there was a better one. Where's the good one? Oh, uh, it's over there by the. I got you. Oh yeah, you gotta show them the good piece. Oh my goodness, <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> bro. Nice. Just connected to nothing. Three connectors and a relay. Two connectors and a relay, I'm sorry. Just going to nothing. When when I had the uh, wiring specialties harness put in, right, it eliminates a lot of stuff, but instead of removing this stuff, it eliminated. You just eliminated it. <laughs> right, just leave, leave her in there. Who pays for it? See, this right is like on. a lot cleaner, right? So we're trying to get this all nice and clean, like over here, you know what I'm saying?